Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by Calhoun's, a local restaurant chain serving local food from local farms. Calhoun's, you're eating corn from East Tennessee, tomatoes from East Tennessee. They even serve locally brewed beer from Smoky Mountain Brewery. Local, local, local. Calhoun's, been around for a long, long time. A taste of Tennessee. Calhoun's. All right, I want to welcome in the next member of our panel. Right down there is Mr. Chuck Cavalleris. The Good official video. ham of the sports source. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you being here. Uh, it's our hot read segment. You like that? I like that. Uh, Bob and Will, I want to start with you guys. Everyone wanted Garantano. I mean, everyone. Most people wanted Garantano to play against UMass. So it seems a little picky. I feel picky saying this now, but why did you bring him in then? Now, he should have played, but why then? I mean, I was surprised he didn't come in in the first half at some point during the struggles. But then you bring him in when you're trying to milk. A, you've got a four-point lead. You're trying to hang on to it. You bring him in for three series. Nothing happens. He didn't get much help. A snap over his head and a first down pass that who knows what yeah. happens if it's caught instead it's dropped. But you then lift him and put Dormady back in. Butch Jones said he wanted to spark. Guys, your thoughts on how they used Garantano? Interesting. <laughs> Rhyme <Ryan> or reason? <laughs> I mean, it, it was interesting. I mean, I thought they had to get him into the ball game. And it was interesting that the team played so bad around him at that point in time. I mean, they, it really did. They were a number of plays just dropping the ball. Guy that had been dependable all day, all of a sudden gets a perfect pass and just puts it on the ground. Uh, a high snap. I, so, I mean, I think you had to get him in the game. I mean, I think you're right in the sense of you could have gotten him in in the first half, but I don't fault you for getting trying to do something new at some point in the game. You got to get something, and especially when you're reading that defense and seeing them on your runs, just no longer even looking at Dormandy right. and just completely flowing to the to the running back, you had to get somebody in there that maybe slowed them down for a second and tried to give yourself a two, you know, a, a dual threat run game. All of a sudden, they just didn't happen because the team didn't play well around it. Bob, your thoughts on when they brought him in and the if, position they put him in? If Dormandy had just gone through a three and out and, and had looked awful, I would have said, okay, maybe you do that. But you had just came off of driving down and kicking a field goal. So you had had a little bit of offense right there. I thought that you kind of killed the offense by putting him in. And then did you take away any spark that Dormandy may have had by him sitting there and watching three terrible series? I think with I think he was two of six in the third quarter when they took him out. So I mean, he, he, was he, wasn't, he wasn't good. But at the same time, I mean, Garantano come in and looked worse. So, no, I, I, I really question that putting him in at that time. I would have thought, okay, third series of the game, sixth series of the game, we're swapping him out, we've got a plan. And instead it just looked like you were getting kind of panicky to me. Okay, well, let's. speaking of panicky, Barrett <laughs> Salee of CBS Sports wrote something interesting about Butch Jones today. After scare from UMass, Butch Jones should be coaching for his job versus Georgia. He said next week should be a referendum, that's the word he used, on Jones. Quote, if they quit, Tennessee AD John Curry should quit on Jones. There's a buy after Georgia. That would be the perfect time to hit the reset button, relieve some pressure that Jones has conjured up, and allow Curry to get a little, big, to get a little bit of a jump on the coaching silly season. Chuck, Jimmy, <laughs> should the Georgia game be Butch Jones' last chance? No, 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 no. And I, I, I think you're still looking at this. And give the season a chance to play out. But it's definitely trending the wrong way. I mean, you, uh, you, you just did not get anywhere close to the effort that you expect. And that all goes back to the coach. But, no, I don't put it all on one game yet. I don't either. I, I'm big on letting the season play out. Now, when I say that, that doesn't mean you have to go in and uh, let them coach all 12. Because if they've got, heck, if they're yeah, two, and, two eight. and Yeah, uh -huh. then you can sure make the change. I don't know that I've seen anybody get, high, uh, get fired four games in or three games in or six games in, and then that school was better off for it by who they were able to hire. I just hadn't seen that. Look uh, who LSU went Look at LSU. Yeah. Yeah. And then who, so if you the did do that, who would take over? I mean, oh, that's the, not a the push. Yeah. The push from this guy and all his former teammates. You've Brady got Hope? the – No. Philip Fulmer. Oh. Always constant. <laughs> I, I'm guessing that's what the VFL push. I'm putting words in Will's mouth. But I'm guessing the push, I've seen it online, I'm guessing the push would be for Philip Fulmer to take over as your interim. And then you'd have people saying, take the interim off, bring him back. So, guaranteed. Wow. Now, they wow. you talk about they in an interesting situation with Curry and yes. Fulmer. They're, they're playing nice right now, but I don't know what their proximity is. All right. Uh, the, but the LSU thing is the perfect example. They fired Les Miles early, and they talked about, we've got money to spend. We're going to go after Saban. Mm -hmm. We're going to go after Meyer. 
Well, you turned out having to hand it over to Ed Orgeron because nobody wanted your job. Nobody yeah. wanted yeah. Fisher, Herman, they thought they were going to get one of those. Yeah. Didn't and Herman have. would rather go to I don't to think it helped Southern Cal when they fired Kiffin either. Nope. Mm -hmm. No, it didn't. So, so I'm not sure what... I just don't know about getting his jump start. Well, the thing is, coaches. technically, he's three and one. It's ugly. That's the funny mm -hmm. thing. It, I picked seven and five on the season. I thought they'd be two and two right now. I, I had them losing to Tech in Florida. So they're better than I thought they would be record wise. But the eye test makes me think they're yeah. going to finish seven and five at best right, right now. Yeah. That's the trouble. But mm -hmm. I, I disagree with the whole let's rush and do this. Well, yeah. what does it get you? So, no. all right. Uh, up next, Dormady struggles, the run game, or Georgia's defense? What's the biggest worry for Tennessee moving forward? Come on back as we bring in another wave of panelists on the Sports Source.